Hey there, it's Cindy Powers Prosser. And I'm here to see how you are. How are you? Really, how are you? We're in a huge time right now and it's okay if you're freaking out a little bit. Really, it's uh, human. Being a human, you get to feel all of your emotions, not just the feel good ones. So embrace your emotional state and um, and freak out when you need to. It's actually the pathway to more peace, really. If you're like me, you've been feeling all sorts of emotions. Some days I'll start with feeling a little empty, lonely, sad. Might go into a little anger. But before I know it, I'm back into feeling some hope, some peace, some trust. That's how they work. But it's really important that you feel them because if we just stuff them and we numb them out, we slap on a happy face and pretend all, all is good, well, they don't go anywhere. They stay inside and they get triggered and they cause us stress and stress creates disease. So I really want to encourage you to feel all of your emotions and release with screaming, crying, writing, moving your body. Do what you need to do to take care of you and feel your emotions and feel the positive, happy, feel good emotions as well. So when you feel grateful, lean into that and really feel grateful. If you have something to celebrate, celebrate. Because when you feel gratitude and celebration, you expand those expansive emotions and you create more to feel grateful for and to celebrate. So feel and release, feel and expand. You are an emotional being having a human experience. You get them all. It's important to navigate the terrain with ease and grace and just let yourself be in whatever process you're in. If you need any help, any um, assistance, please reach out. I'm here. This is a subject that I'm very familiar with and I love it. It's all part of the self-love that I love to teach. Part of loving you is allowing yourself to feel. So I hope you've been taking some time like me to be quiet, to rest, to feel, to play, to create, to be in nature, to move your body, to eat really well. Take this time because normal, our new normal is going to be a little different or a lot different than the last normal. So take really good time to be with yourself, to get to know yourself and get real clear with you know, what your new normal would look like. What do you desire? What would you like more of and less of? And start to imagine that new world. We've had time to really see some different perspectives and try some different perspectives on while we've been in retreat. So take this time to get clear with what you'd like more of once the world does go back to the new normal. What does that new normal look like for you? For me, the most important thing is freedom and respect to all sentient beings, an education that is that really uh, sees each child as individual and works with their passions and what their purpose is. Abundance for all. I, I see an abundant world and a world where our, our earth is healing and um, yeah, there's a lot that I think about and I feel into. So I want to invite you to do that too. I guess this has been about feeling. All right, that's all for now. Reach out if I can help. Until next time. Many blessings.